Alright ladies, so I um, got two magnetic nail polishes today, um, and I've never tried these before. So I got two of the Sally Hansen magnetic nail colors. This one's in polar purple and ionic indigo. And I'm going to use the polar purple. 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 Okay. I tried it on this nail. But as you see, it only got right here, and I only held this magnet on here for a quick second, and I didn't move it side to side. I didn't know about that until I just reviewed a few videos. So it does say shake the bottle very good because you want to get all the magnetic pieces mixed up in there. All right, and I did um, do a clear base coat on my nails. Okay. So, and I do have this cute little thing too that I'm going to use when I'm doing the magnet, but for demonstration purposes, you are supposed to put a thin coat on first and let it dry. Sorry, I'm not the best nail painter, especially on this little thing. Okay, so a thin coat on there and let that dry. So I'm going to go ahead and do that to all of them and I'll come back. Alright ladies, so I did um, one coat on each finger, and ring finger's blue. Um, I'm going to go back and I'm going to shake this up a minute, and we're going to see how good this works. It says on the bottle to apply one coat of base coat, shake magnetic nail color to activate. Remove over cap with magnetic and set aside. Apply one coat of magnetic nail color to all ten nails and let dry. And then step two is what we're on, which is apply a thick second coat of the color to one nail and immediately hold the built-in magnet over the nail. Rest the guide, which is right there, gently, <clears throat> excuse me, let me find out where I was. Rest the guide gently just below the cuticle without touching the wet nail polish. Hold for 10 seconds. Repeat for all 10 nails and let dry finish with a top coat. Okay. So, let's try this first. Um, I'm going to try to get you guys a good angle so that you can see this. Let's see. Okay. Let's see if this works out well. magnet and I touched it didn't I? I messed this one up as you can see. I kind of touched it but it's alright. This one's a little messed up but it still looks good. Alright, let's try nail two and try not to touch it. So I'm going to have to get down here at this angle so I can see it. So I do not touch it or else I bring it up to me. Okay, let's see. Do see lines on there? So that one turned out like that. Two lines. Okay, let's try this one. A nice thick coat. Okay, again, let me get down. I'm actually seeing the nail polish. That's absolutely crazy. The nail polish was actually picking up onto the magnet. Like, if you guys could see, there was a little nub, and I'm, as I'm watching, nail polish was, yeah, there's the dot. Actually just sucked up like a spaceship right into it. Wild. 
This is getting a really cool effect though. So. Next one, let's see. And again, it sucked it up again. How wild is that? But that one looks the best. That is really cool looking. If you guys can see that. Okay. So now let's try the blue. And I'm not sure if the blue magnet is different or if it's the same. So, so originally when I thought I touched that, I didn't touch it. That was just the nail polish being sucked up like a little flying saucer. Okay, so the blue worked out too. So that's them, but you can see the designs on them. How nice. So I'm going to go ahead and do my second hand, and I'll come back. All right, and this is the finished product. This is um, my first try at the Sally Hansen Magnetic Polishes. So they do work. They are a bit pricey for the one bottle, but they are worth it if that's the look you're going for. Thanks, ladies. Bye.